Great Lakes Surf and Rescue Project is working to get lifeguards on beaches. They say at most they want that. At the least, they want rescue stations with flotation devices. And that can go a long way. They say the flag system isn't effective because it's not universal all across the state. A family's dog reportedly stolen from their yard for the second time in just a year. And now they're asking for help finding that French Bulldog. There he is. Fox 17's Michael Martin spoke to the dog's owners today and has their story live for us tonight. Michael. Yeah, guys, good afternoon. Cannon, the one and a half year old French Bulldog you guys just saw there, taken from his family's front yard on Thursday afternoon. And now they're doing everything they can to try to get him back. Shockingly enough, as you guys mentioned as well, he was taken from that same front yard almost a year ago to the day. This time, though, the family worried that he could be gone for good. He's an animal. He should be able to run free in his yard and play. Jacqueline Hobson and her family are heartbroken after their feisty French bulldog named Cannon disappeared from their front yard Thursday afternoon. It was just like a typical morning for Cannon. Um, he likes to go out and meet the mail lady every morning because she makes him bacon. Cannon was outside for just minutes, but when Hobson opened the door to let him back in, he normally comes running to the door as soon as he hears me click the door open. He didn't, so I came around the porch and that's when I saw our side gate um, had been pushed open and he was gone. She says Cannon would have had to be taken out this back gate, which she always has latched up and blocked off with a piece of cement. This was unhooked um, and the gate was, I mean, this latch was up and the gate was pushed open. But even more puzzling than a dog napping in broad daylight, this isn't the first time that it's happened to the Hobsons. He was taken before. Almost a year to the day, she says Cannon was taken and later located on the north end of Kalamazoo, where a family had paid someone $500 for the dog. Thankfully, um, a really nice person messaged me and said, you know, hey, I saw someone post a picture of their new dog. Could this be your dog? And it was. <laughs> So now the family is going through it again, desperately sharing photos of Cannon wherever they can, hoping someone knows where he is. Statistically speaking, will I get him back a second time? You know, it's like I'm kind of worried that like, OK, what if we don't find him this time? Hobson has filed a police report, but in the end, the family just wants their dog returned. My message to whoever has him is, you know, just like, if you're enjoying him, think about how much like we're missing him and we've enjoyed him like we've had him, you know, since he was six weeks old. He's a part of our family. Now, if you guys have any information about where Cannon is right now, you're asked to contact the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety. For now, live in Kalamazoo, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.